It's been a week since Ellen's car accident. She just arrived home after six days in the hospital. She had a mild concussion for the first two days, and then she got released. But she fainted on her way to the parking lot and had to be checked in all over again. So she spent the last four days in the hospital still recovering. Anyway, today she was finally given all clear. Ellen told me she had no recollection of what happened on the car ride today, and Serena was driving the car. I sense Ellen knows more than she's letting on. And I have feelings that Dina has a part to play in all of this as well. I'll have to be a detective today and find out the truth, but my initial feelings are that I'm not going to like this. Serena is feeding the kids in the kitchen as Ellen watches TV in the living room sitting on the couch. I just put away Ellen's suitcase in their bedroom as I walk in and then sit beside Ellen. When I was in Serena and Ella's bedroom, I opened the closet and I saw something. It was a gold necklace. It's the same necklace I bought Dina a month before we were going to get married. So the big question is, what was it doing in Ellen and Serena's closet? I stare at Ellen. Why are you staring at me like that? How long has it been going on? How long has what, Alex? Your affair with Dina. (laughs) Is this some kind of joke? Because I'm confused. I pull out a necklace from my pocket and show it to Ellen. Why are you holding Dina's necklace? Don't play games with me, Ellen. I found this in your closet. Don't play me for a fool. Just tell me the fucking truth. Okay, I'm not playing you for a fool. And I'm not fucking Dina. Then why was the necklace in your bedroom? Alex, your sister is fucking Dina. I laugh out loud. (laughs) Okay, fine. I'm being stupid, but there's no need to ridicule me with that bullshit. Alex, I'm telling you the truth. Wait, you're serious. That's because I'm not lying. Your ex has been having an affair with my wife. Fuck. I'm so sorry you had to hear it this way, Alex. How how long have they been sleeping together? You need to ask Dina. How, How do you know this? Have you been lying to me too? I found out the night of the accident. I got suspicious when you told me Serena was trying to interfere with your relationship, so... I instantly asked Serena, and I knew she was lying to me, so later that night, I followed her. (sighs) Ellen, I thought your concussion wiped out your memory. It did for three days, and then it came back to me. Anyway, I followed Serena, and she met up with Dina, and Dina went on to confess everything to me. (laughs) Fuck. I think it's been going on... I don't know, on and off for like two years. I can't believe this. How can my sister do this to me? Well, she's had a history. I mean, remember college when she came into town and swooped me away from you? Look, once is fine, but twice is just fucking dumb. I I, I need to go. I, I just can't be around here right now. Just promise me you won't do something stupid. Serena walks over. Who won't do something stupid? I barge past Serena. (laughs) Dick! I know you just didn't do that! Fuck off, Serena! (laughs) I'm telling Mom! I walk to the door, I open it, and slam it shut. What was that about? Beats me. Um, hey, babe, I'm going to Florida to see my parents next week. They want to see the kids. Do you want to come? Could be a pleasant weekend visit. I, I can't, you know, work's getting busy. You know, I, I already mentioned that. Oh, okay, just checking. Hey, what do you say to me putting the kids to bed for a nap and going upstairs for you know what? <laughs> I I gotta go out. Rain check. Oh yeah, sure. Serena walks away. She looks back at Ellen. She's suspicious. She knows Ellen's up to something. Ellen walks into a diner and she sees Dina sitting at the table and walks over. She reaches her and takes a seat opposite of her. Thanks for agreeing to see me. Why are we having this meeting, Dina? 
I have something to confess. <laughs> oh yeah, what? I want to do it before your memory comes back to you so you know I'm not just trying to take you for a ride. Just spit it out. And can we remember we're in a family-run diner, so I don't want to make a scene. Fucking say what you have to say or I'll leave now. I've been having an affair with Serena. There's a beat of silence. <laughs> what do you mean an affair? A kiss? Sex? What? Sex. Ellen looks emotional. She seems close to tears. Why the hell are you telling me now? I'm telling you now because I don't want to live a life full of lies anymore. I want to be honest with you. <laughs> Bullshit! You know Alex is about to find out, and you're just trying to make yourself look like less of a villain, so when you tell him the truth, you don't look like a conniving, cheating bitch! Could you not raise your voice? <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! People around the diner stare at them. I didn't pursue Serena. I, I, I never wanted this affair. No, but you still had a mind of your own. Which was weak and troubled. Look, look, Alex left me at the altar. And a week later, I found out we were having a baby. And then three months later, I lost that baby. So I imagine losing something like that important. It can hurt. It really did. And Serena was by my side through the whole process. And... I'm sorry to say this, but she started working me over, and I, I fought her off, I fought her hard, I, I tried everything, I, I, I tried. You still have a brain, Dina, which was all over the place, and look, in the end, we started the affair, and it went on for a year, and I, I, I ended it, and, and I met Jeremy, and I married him, and, you know, he had an affair with his ex-wife, so... I was alone, and I needed someone, and Alex and I weren't speaking, so I reached out to Serena, and she comforted me, and she helped me rebuild my life. So you restarted the affair again? Not, not exactly. Oh, fuck off. Of course you did. Fine, we did, and I regretted it. I know I made the biggest mistake of my life. So what happened next, Dina? I got together with Jeremy, and it lasted a month. I filed for an annulment that month because Jeremy wanted to remarry again, and then the dick cheated on me again. <laughs> Serves you right. I mean, it does. Anyway, I never left town. I went to L.A. to stay with a few friends. Who told you your mom wasn't well? I know her. She wouldn't want to worry you over something trivial like a bad back, so... Who told you she wasn't well? Helen asked. Have a guess. Serena? Yep. So, since you've been back in town, have you slept with her? No, hell no. Have you thought about sleeping with her? To be honest, yes. Serena's tempted me, but I've resisted her with all my might. The hotel meetup, what was that? I went to tell Serena to back off. And I also told her that I, I didn't want her. I, I want Alex. He's all that matters to me. And the meeting in the woods, what was that? I was there, but I only went so I could tell Serena again to back the fuck up. I, I didn't want to restart her thing. I, I threatened to leave town if she continued to pursue me. I, I'm still dead set on going. Oh, you can't leave. Oh, what do you mean? You don't want me to leave? It's not because you matter to me, but Alex is my best friend and he's in love with you. I don't want him to be hurt by your sudden departure. He really cares about you. Oh, you're a good friend for looking out for him. He'd do the same for me. Look, Dina, you owe it to Alex to tell him the truth. He deserves to know everything. He needs to know the real Serena and I'm gonna hate saying this, but you two need to be able to talk to prevent you from hiding secrets from one another. This matters if, if we're to build something. Yep. So despite everything I've done to you, you still want Alex to be with me? <laughs> Are you insane, girl? <laughs> I'm not in the laughing mood, Dina. Sorry. Um, can I ask? 
Does Alex know what I've done? There's a beat of silence. Okay, your silence tells me he knows everything. Look, just arrange to meet up with him. Tell him the whole truth or I will. Ellen gets up from the chair and exits. Dina starts to deliberate her next steps. There's a knock on my mom burning at the door. Dina is standing by the front door. She hears the sounds of glass being thrown against the wall. Dina kneels and takes a key from under the flower pot. She gets up and unlocks the door. She sees me up ahead. The living room looks like it had a blizzard for a visit. She continues towards the carnage. Finally, when Dina is closed, she sees me down my glass of whiskey. I see her, but I walk right up to her. I'm angry. I won't hurt her, but I'm pissed. Dina walks backwards. She reaches the wall. I corner her. I stink of alcohol. Dina stands her ground. She raises her chin. She's not scared and she's not going anywhere. I look furious, but I know I wouldn't hurt her. <laughs> I know this, man. Get the fuck out of my house. Yes, I've slept with Serena in the past, but it wasn't during our thing, I promise. I said get out of my house. We need to have this conversation, Alex. If you don't leave voluntarily, I'll grab you by your hair and throw you out. This is your last chance. Dina takes a seat on the couch. I'm not going anywhere. Do your worst. I walk up to her. I kneel and go to grab her. But Dina sneaks in and surprise kisses me on the lips. I stumble backwards like I've just been shot. I love you. I'm not leaving this house without fighting for the man I love. You're that man. Get used to it. When did it start? start to pace. Three weeks after you jilted me at our wedding. I want to remind you that we broke up and we weren't together. Does Ellen know? Yes, she wanted me to come here and tell you everything. Hence, I'm here doing that. So, let's do this. Since you came back to town to look after your mom, have you slept with Serena? I sit down on the armchair. No, my mind's only been set on you. You're all that I care about. You're my entire world. <laughs> right, sure. Listen, no one comes between the love I have for you. And in due time, when you're ready, I'll tell you what made me stumble and walk into Serena's spider webs. <laughs> I'll never trust you again. I'll never be able to trust you. Every time you're apart, I'll think you're in bed with Serena. This is not going to work. I think it will, at least... I mean, we owe it to ourselves to try. Give me a chance. Let's, let's try. No, I, I don't want you. I can't trust you. Yet you're still here. Feelings are there for me, or you would have left to throw me out. Stop playing games with me. I know you don't want to admit that there are feelings here, but it's here before us. You have to be brave. Brave and do what? I don't know. How about we just start small? And do what, Dina? Nothing. You just sit here and be in the moment. <laughs> I, can't, I can't look at you. That's fair enough. I'm not asking you to do it. Then we'll sit in silence. That sounds great. There's a beat of silence. Fuck, I can't, I can't do this! I get up and walk away. I head towards the stairs. Dean is behind me. She turns me around. I turn and she kisses me. Half an hour later, Dean and I have just slept together. I hold her close. We snuggle. I kiss her on the forehead and she smiles was good. You've learned some new moves. <laughs> Thanks. One of the uh, IT guys at our office used to teach sex ed at school. And he likes to offer people advice. I listen and take notes. <laughs> it sounds like it. Dina kisses me again. Oh shit! What? Did we use protection? Um, it's okay. I I'll get a next day pill. <laughs> Thank you. How are we going to deal with Serena? She won't like this. It's none of her fucking business. 
I don't care what she thinks. You're mine. And you'll always be mine. And nothing will change that? <laughs> That's right, nothing. Ooh, I like it when you get all territorial. I mean it, Dina. You're mine. You're all mine. And I'll be on you to mark my territory if I have to. <laughs> Dina laughs. <laughs> no need. I'm in love with you, Alex. I won't ever need to look elsewhere. You're my world, my universe, and my heart. I kiss Dina. Would you like to go to the Bahamas for two weeks? What? When I found out you slept with Serena, I booked a holiday to escape. I was going to take my mom with me, but <laughs> do you want to go with me instead? I mean, it could be fun. We could spend the whole time in bed together being naked. What do you think? I would love to, but my stepdaughter is coming for a visit next week. I have to be here. She thinks I've abandoned her, and I can't let her think I'm going to do it again. Fair enough. Uh, I'll give the tickets to my mom and tell her to invite her a work colleague. <laughs> That's a good idea. I say he's a work colleague, but I caught them in the shower yesterday morning, and let's just say my mom likes them big. And ew, why did you have to say that? What? It's the truth. My mom doesn't play around. There's a text. It's from Serena. I look at my phone. I immediately get up from the bed. What's going on? Serena's texting. She came home to find that Ellis packed up her and the kids' things and left town. Serena doesn't know where she's gone. And my mom wants me to help her. Will you? I don't want to. I mean, there's no pressure to help her either. So I won't. Then that's settled. I have to help her, don't I? I mean, if you forgiven her. I haven't, but... I'll perform Ella. I'm glad. Is it alright if I don't take part? It's fine by me. I kiss Dina and get dressed. I then race out of the room. I walk into the living room of Ellen and Serena's house. Serena sits on the couch in tears. She looks up at me. I love the pain that's etched on her face. Serena hands me a note written by Ellen. It reads, I've left town. I'm gone. And you won't find me again. You're a lying, conniving bitch who deserves everything you get. I hope you die when you realize I've taken everything you love away. I put down the note. Serena cries on the couch. I feel sorry for her, but she might have done this to herself. But no woman deserves to see her life crash into flames. And it is in flames. Serena's life, as she knows it, is dead. After a while, I sit next to her on the couch 